I hope I don't lose him because of it. Dude, this fish is heavy and he does not want to come up. Oh, he just can't. Come on. Oh, wow. He straightened the hook. out here this morning anxious to get out I'm gonna do a few different things today guys but what I want to first start off doing is throwing this little horny toad around <laughs> see what we can do this isn't really a planned video guys it's more of a spur of the moment type of grab your rod deal and see what's out here So, we'll see. This water is considerably dirtier than I'm used to seeing it when I come out here. We've had a lot of rain last night. Probably got a lot to do with it. <laughs> got to tighten this drag down. Won't be catching much of anything. I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap this rig out. Put something on her a little more friendly for these guys. You guys all remember these, don't you? I think we all grew up. Anyone that started fishing, you know, usually starts off with good old little bluegill rig. Man, are they great. I think most of you agree too that some of the best times of your life, some of the best memories come or came from time you sat out on the bank with mom, dad, grandpa, and caught these bluegill. I know I reminisce on it all the time and sure do miss my grandfather. But man, am I thankful for the time that we got to spend together and spend it like this. So I imagine he's watching down on me and I'm sure he's catching a lot better fish than I am. Ain't 
And guys, if you're not taking your kids fishing and doing this, stop everything. Take vacation from work, you know, turn the computers off, turn the cell phones off. Get them out here. It's worth it, guys. This kind of fishing and fishing in general, as a kid, it does something to you. It, it could be life altering. I mean, it could change a person. I know that, that sounds kind of ridiculous in a sense, but I believe that. I really do think it's true. I had these worms in the refrigerator for a few days, and I don't know if they're just a little softer or what, but definitely something going on with them. They ain't staying on the hook very well like they normally would. This stuff really helps the bite. a massive fish guys holy smokes what this might be my bass guys two pound test oh my goodness he's pulling like crazy guys oh it's heavy he is heavy holy smokes He's really pulling, guys. Man, I gotta finesse him. So I had a little frail on my line and I neglected to change it because it was so slow. 
gosh, I hope I don't lose him because of it. Dude, this fish is heavy and he does not want to come up. Oh, he just can't. Come on. Oh, wow. He straightened the hook. What in the world? You've got to be kidding me. Wow. That was a Mogan, guys. Holy smokes. How the hell? That's insane. Insane. Well, I'm gonna wrap it up with that, guys. Unfortunately, very disappointing.